Hi, my name is Mark Lundstrom. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering. I'm also serving as Purdue's chief semiconductor officer. Well, you know, except for people like me, most of us didn't think about semiconductor chips until the pandemic. And then our global supply lines were interrupted. We learned that chips are everywhere. They're not only in our smartphones, they're in our automobiles, they're in our appliances. Uh, they do all of our cloud computing. They're responsible for the artificial intelligence we hear more and more about. Really, I think we understand now that any nation that wants to control its destiny must have a strong semiconductor industry. Well, the industry really faces a couple of challenges. Uh, the first is to reshore semiconductor manufacturing, bring chip manufacturing back to the U.S. The next challenge is to regain our leadership in the most advanced leading edge chip technologies. And we need to do that while we strengthen our leadership in areas that we're currently strong in, in chip design and in the sophisticated tools that are used to manufacture chips. Well, our first challenge is to ignite student interest, get them excited and enthused about exploring career opportunities in this field. The next challenge is preparing them uh, for this new era of electronics that will be much different from the past 60 years, which has been driven by Moore's Law. Now, universities and companies together need to work on accelerating the pace of innovation. How can we take innovations and advances in research that occur in university laboratories and move them into manufacturing more quickly? Well, the government will need to design effective incentive programs for companies, but they'll also need to manage an R&D program that engages the strengths of both universities and industries and so that we can work together to address these challenges. Well, you know, we're dealing with challenges that have occurred slowly over the past two or three decades. There won't be any quick fixes. But if we understand just how critical this is to the nation's future, then I'm confident that we can sustain the effort and stay the course. You know, the only thing that I would add is I I've been in this field since my first job out of college 49 years ago. And you'd think that by this time the field would be getting old and mature and unexciting, but there has never been a more exciting time in this field, uh, nor a one that's more important for the nation. Well, the theme of the summit is executing for success. Over the last year or more, there have been many meetings and workshops and reports written clarifying our vision for what we need to accomplish in semiconductors. In this meeting, the conversation will shift from defining a vision to executing the vision. And we'll hear perspectives from government, from industry, and from academia on what are the challenges ahead, uh, how do we measure our progress, and how do we sustain the effort over the long term.